Hello, welcome to Hobrek. I'm Ulf. Uh, today we're going to do a review of a uh, soon to come interesting microphone clip. Yes, yeah, so I got a prototype of a microphone clip from Studio Fredman. It's basically a microphone clip that fits uh, two SM57s to help you recreate the classic uh, Fredman technique when recording distorted metal guitars. You can of course do this with just two microphone stands and stuff like that, but this really makes it easy and it's quick and you can move it around to find the sweet spot of your speaker if you're not going to do the true way and put the straight microphone just right in the speaker cone, which really works fine with this technique. I know that there are some versions of this microphone clip floating around on the internet since before, but apparently the angle of the two clips that holds the microphones is not 100% correct, uh, according to Fredman. They decided to make an official one that is actually true to the original Fredman technique. So this is what the concept looks like. This is as I said, only a prototype. So the finished product will probably look more polished. I know that the Fredman logo will be in a different kind of uh, material, so it will stand out more and look more official. Also, the threads that fit on a standard thread uh, adapter. The threads on this prototype was uh, not that great, but I've been told that the threads in the finished product will be cut instead of 3D printed. So it will be a really nice snug fit, I guess. As I said before, uh, setting up the microphones with this clip is incredibly easy. Make sure you point the microphone that's supposed to be straight on into the speaker cone. Just put that in the right place and the angled one will just follow along and be exactly where it should be according to the true Fredman technique. So I guess we should stop talking about it and uh, have a listen to what it does. I just want to point out again that according to the true Fredman technique, you're supposed to combine those two tracks on your mixing console before it goes to your recording interface. Fredrik Nordström actually contacted me before doing this video uh, just to make sure I knew what the Fredman technique was all about. And he also pointed out to me there that you're supposed to record the combined signal onto one track, otherwise it's lame. But even after being informed by the father of this technique, I decided to record it to two tracks anyways, just so that I can show you what's actually going on. Uh, it would have looked cooler to show you on the actual analog console, but it was much easier to do it in Cubase. <laughs> I think I'm pretty happy with something like that. And as you can hear, the straight on microphone is more sharp while the angled one has more of the bottom and low end. The face relationship with those takes out some of the harshness in a really pleasant way and makes it soft, but still edgy and with a lot of attack. I just want to let you listen to one microphone at a time and then the combined one that I did here in a loudness matched uh, example, just to let you know exactly what's happening. So let's listen to what this can sound like in a full mix. The guitars here are totally unprocessed, except for some limiting on the master bus.
If you're interested in this microphone clip, you should check out fredmandigital.com. Uh, there's no info there yet, but there will be as soon as this product is ready to be released. So keep an eye there, uh, follow the link in the description. Yeah, so that's it for this week. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, please share the video with friends. Uh, I would really appreciate if uh, more people came to watch my videos and uh, so it can grow a little bit more. And also feel free to visit my homepage, uh, hoborek.com, where you can listen to some of my previous work. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, see you next week. Bye bye. Cheers.